Hi, let's take a look at Spectral Layer 1 and Pro 8 integration with New Window 11. Spectral Layer's software offers spectral editing features ranging from repairing and restoring audio to freeform sound design. Spectral Layers integrate artificial intelligence functionality with sensitivity parameters. It can be used as a standalone application or within Cubase or New Window using ARA2 extension mode. Application areas include music productions, audio post-productions, sound design, mastering, or audio forensics. Spectral Layer 1 is a basic spectrum editor bundled with New Window 11. It can be activated within New Window 11 using ARA2 extension mode. Spectral Layer 1 offers custom display preferences unlimited layers, and mixed vocals layers from stems, and basic spectral editing of mono and stereo files. So let's take a closer look at Spectral Layer 1 software integration with New Window 11. You can open Spectral Layer 1 within New Window 11 by selecting a mono or stereo audio file within the project window, and select Spectral Layers under Extension, on the Info Line section of the project window. Once Spectral Layers has been launched, you can use the Add or Remove buttons to activate or deactivate spectral editing on multiple audio files within the project window. Now Spectral Layers automatically create a mono and stereo tab where all activated mono channels or stereo channels can be displayed separately on the Overview bar and waveform and spectral form of the channels within the display area. The tool section of Spectral Layer 1 offers four navigation tools, a 3D perspective tool, a zoom tool, an end tool, and playback tool with options and preferences available for each selected tool. Once you have identified a section of the spectrogram you'd like to work on, in this example track number 1, bird 2 in green, you can use the playback tool to hear part of the spectral display by setting the preferences to frequency range, spectral unit, and define a playback range to translate a specific section of the spectral display into sound. Note that the side ruler helps you define the frequency range of the spectral form. Now Spectral Layer 1 offers four editing tools, a timer and selection with horizontal and vertical range options on right click, a transform tool to transform or duplicate a selection, for example, a rectangular or elliptical selection tool, and a frequency pencil tool. Spectral Layers 1's preferences are available under Edit. The Interface tab offers custom color selections for the software, a transport options for the playback tool to stay or return to the start position on stop, and options for custom views layouts. The display tab offers unit and scale settings and additional display settings. The system tab allows for path selection and additional settings options. Finally, the shortcut tab allows you to create, save, and load custom shortcuts and preferences for the mouse. You can use Spectral Layer 1 to transform, cut, or copy-paste a selection within a spectral display area. For example, if you make a selection of a singing bird using the Rectangular Selection tool, I can then cut the selection, or Cut Special to create a layer of the selected area, and adjust the volume level of the cut layer at will. Copy-paste a selection anywhere within a spectral display. Copy selection under Edit. 
create new selection and paste. Now let's listen what I just copy paste. Now you can copy or paste special a selection to create independent layers. Customize the color of each layer to help you define the different layers within the spectral display area. And easily drag and drop any layer from Spectral Layer 1 into a new Windows project window. Now if we take a look at the bass guitar and bottom snare tracks in this project, Now you can clearly see the spectral representation of the snare in purple. And the bass guitar in orange in a lower frequency range. Now you can easily select and monitor different sections of the spectral display to cut attenuate or amplify a specific frequency range, for example. Spectral Layers 1 also offer an Nanmix vocal layer function that allows you to extract vocal from stereo stem tracks, for example. Under Layer, select Unmix Vocal and define the sensitivity level, which adjusts how the artificial intelligence algorithm performs the separation, and click OK. Note that just like New Window 11, all actions performed in Spectral Layer 1 are non-destructive. A few processes functions are also available in Spectral Layers 1 to generate silence, tone, or noise, as well as a gain and channel remixer amplitude options. Spectral Layers Pro 8 offers up to 8 channels of spectral editing, advanced editing tools, and AI processing. Spectral Layers Pro 8 can be used within Cubase and your window using ARA2 extension mode or as a standalone application to up to three editing windows. So let's take a closer look at Spectral Layer Pro 8 using the ARA2 mode with new window 11. Spectral Layers Pro 8 offers various additional shapes and algorithm to select spectral data, including a magic wand for harmonics based selections and a transient selection tool. Several modification tools are available to amplify, erase, or frequency repair, as well as measurement tools to provide measurement or add a notation to the spectral display. Spectral Layers Pro 8 supports up to 8 channels of spectral editing and offer a channel remixer which can be used to convert third order ambisonic files, for example. You can use up to 3 standalone Spectral Layers Pro 8 editing windows and any layer can be drag and dropped from the standalone editor into new Window 11's project window. Now, Spectral Layer Pro 8 offers many AI processing options from vertical and horizontal healing 
to EQ match, ambience match, noise reduction, reverb reduction, and much more. Spectralio Pro 8 offers an advanced and mix stems for vocals, piano, drums and bass with sensitivity levels for each group and another options for all other instruments. An NMIX component is also available with a reconstruct hidden noise option. NMIX components automatically extract tonal, transient, and noise from the selected layer. Thanks for watching.